Hello, my name is Roya and this is my first book haul. It's getting dark out and I'm gonna try and film this video as quickly as possible so that we still have natural light um, while I'm filming it. So let's get started. Start with the books that my mother got me while she was here visiting. We have Witches and Pagans, um, a, a, an issue of it anyway. Um, this is pretty awesome. I, I read some of it at the bookstore and I pretty much couldn't put it down so my mom was like, hey, why don't you just get it? Um, I'll buy it for you and it's pretty cool. Um, weirdly enough, my mom is actually really supportive of my, um, of my being pagan. I don't know why. So got me, um, Silver Raven Wolf's, um, Solitary Witch. This book is gigantic, but it's full of all kinds of good information. I've, I've heard so many good things about it and this is kind of like a must. The next few books are um, some that I bought for myself um, because I usually don't buy a lot of books for myself. I normally just go to the library, um, but I figured, you know, they, it now is, seems like a great time to get all the books that the library doesn't have. Stephen R. Boyette's Ariel. Um, this is about, apparently, a boy who finds a unicorn. By the way, you will see some common themes in some of these books. Um, actually a common theme. Um, so see if you can guess what, um, what a booktube video I have planned for the future is. S.M. Sterling takes, um, takes inspiration from this for his Change series, which is weird. Like, um, I don't know if you guys have read the Change series, but if you have, it's called Dies the, the first book is Dies the Fire. Um, and it's a really good book about how all technology stops working um, and everyone kind of goes back to medieval times. And so I guess this actually, this book um, takes a lot of, this is what kind of gave him the inspiration for it because there is actually a, a weird apocalypse that they call the change and it has to do with technology stop stopping to work. Um, so it's, um, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it's actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. For some reason I thought this was one, this one was going to be pretty short, but I guess I was wrong. Um, yeah, so that's, that's Ariel. Next we have The Unicorn's Balinor, which is a really short book it seems like. It's pretty, pretty short. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. Um, I've never read it and a lot of people say it's really good. Uh, from what I can tell, it's about unicorns. Next we have Warrior Beautiful. This is also about unicorns, um, as you can pretty much see from the cover. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure what it's about, so we'll see. Next we have Unicorn Bait um, by S.A. Hunter. Um, this is a, seems to be a pretty cool book. Um, it's about a girl who um, pricks her finger on a unicorn horn and gets transported to another planet. Then we have Akorna, um, the unicorn girl, which also I've heard a lot of really good things about. Um, this book, like, like Ariel, it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a really short book, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I've heard some really good things about this book. I'm pretty excited to read it. Um, it should be, um, pretty interesting. Um, from what I can tell, it's about a girl who's kind of like a unicorn-human hybrid. Tell me again how a crush should feel. My own copy, finally. I have read this book. I've talked about it in a couple of, um, a couple videos, but, um, what I was reading was a library copy. This is my own, and because I think I'm going to, um, read it again, um, at least once again, at least like once a year practically. Um, I actually plan to do, uh, give this book its own video review. I really should do that because there's so many brilliant things about it that just aren't really found in other, other books that I've read. That one actually also came with, um, a thing of M&Ms, which seems tasty. I have Tanith Lee's Black Unicorn. Um, I've heard good things about this too. Um, apparently it's about a black unicorn. <laughs> Um, that comes to life after the main character finds its skeleton and like pieces it back together and goes, oh, a unicorn, and that comes back to life. Far From Xanadu. I believe this is actually known by a different title as well. I forget what it is. It seems kind of like the miseducation of Cameron Post and that it's about a girl who falls in love with a straight girl. Um, so that should be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to reading this for sure. So I hope you enjoyed my very first video book haul. It's getting dark, so I should probably uh, wrap up this video. Um, I will see you next time.